Member for Powell River, Sunshine Coast. Thank you. Uh, Honourable Speaker, yesterday the Minister for Children and Family Development said it was not her practice to second-guess the decisions of her staff. For better or for worse, the Minister is responsible for the safety of 7,100 children, vulnerable children in this province. When one of them was sexually assaulted, no one bothered to call the police. Can the Minister tell this House whose job it was to report Alex's assaults to the authorities? Minister for Children and Family Development. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. And again to the member, we all have a duty to report, and whoever is the first receiver of the information that a child is at risk has a duty to report. Paul River, Sunshine Coast on a supplemental. It's a good message for the public to hear. And, you know, however, it's not one that's obviously understood by everyone in this House. The Minister has demonstrated a remarkable ability to res be responsible without being accountable. Alex is denied placement with his family, and that's someone else's decision. Alex's re repeated assaults are never reported to the authorities. That's someone else's decision. So obvious, the obvious question to the minister is if one of the children currently in care of the province is assaulted, ultimately, whose job is it to make sure that the police are informed? Minister of Children and Family Development. Um, Madam Speaker, for, for those watching and, and for this House, let me remind the member um, that there are laws in this province. The CFCSA um, determined or has guiding principles uh, that outline the safety and well-being of children. Um, under that legislation, I, as Minister, designate the authority to act on, those, uh, on that law um, to designated directors. They are the statutory guardians of children in care, and they must act in the best interest of children in care. Similarly, there is a, a duty to report for those people who may be, in, may be aware of a situation where a child is at risk. They have a duty to report. But, Madam Speaker, let's just also remember that our frontline professionals go into homes, Madam Speaker, where there may be domestic violence, there may be substance abuse, there may be child abuse, there may be on all, a whole range of horrific circumstances. And then they have to make decisions based on their professional judgment whether or not to remove a child, remove a child from their family, Madam Speaker. And the members opposite seem to think that it would be better for the, the elected officials, me as the minister, to make those decisions. And, Madam Speaker, I don't. I don't agree. In fact, I think that would be absurd if not, if, and, frankly, dangerous, because, Madam Speaker, I am not trained to make those decisions.